in this case. I know Kung Fu. I don't need you. Oh. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Pharmacy Simulator. Wait a minute. Greta! Where's my private jet? What's up guys, this is Chucky from IJWH TV, and today we're playing Pharmacy Simulator. So this game was made and developed for the purpose of pharmacists to learn what it's going to be like in the retail pharmacy setting. There's also uh, a version for the hospital setting as well, uh, but we're going to stick to the retail setting. Um, I work in retail pharmacy. What I'm going to look for is basically how real it is to the real world. and. Um, uh, We'll also see how well I do as a pharmacist, I guess. So, let's get started. Alright, so, his name is Brian. Let's see what we got. Hello. Could I have something to manage a cold, please? Some pseudoephedrine would be awesome. So, I guess it's giving you options on how to respond. Uh, so, we're just going to go with the basic. Uh, we don't want to... We don't want to say, like, what is the problem? Alright, can you describe the symptoms to me? I've had a really runny nose. My throat's a little sore, and I've had a bit of a dry cough, but it's mainly the nose. Okay. So now it's giving me more questions to ask. So, let's just go down the list and see what happens. Sure, who hasn't? <laughs> the facial expression. Alright, it's less. From memory, I had some nose spray, but that didn't help. I was given some pseudoephedrine, and that okay, worked wonders. Okay. No, I don't take anything. So, here's the thing with pseudoephed, at least in America. Um, it's restricted on how much you can get of it. Um, you should have to run a driver's license. And the main reason that is, is just because um, people tend to use pseudoephed to make meth. You gotta be very cautious on how you handle pseudofed patients. So, let's just continue on. Nah, I'm a picture of health. Let's get a look at you. Picture of health, huh? Yeah, I guess you're a picture of health. I don't know. No. I don't have any, and neither does any of my family. I am sure this is just a cold. Nothing. As I said, I knew that pseudoephedrine worked well, so I would like that again. Just a few days. It's only really flared up today. Yeah, my brother came down with a bit of a cold yesterday. So. Did you have any drinks last night? I feel like this is a question that you wouldn't want to ask him simply because it's, I don't think it's anything relevant to the situation. He just wants some Sudafed. Um, so honestly, I don't think it's necessary for us to ask all these questions in general. Usually customers will just come up to the register and say, hey, can I get some Sudafed? And no one really questions it uh, unless they just look suspicious. So, asking all these questions just feels irrelevant to me. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Recreational drugs? No, we don't want to ask them that. That's their business. That's not our business. I thought so. Can you get me that pseudoephedrine now? Okay, so once again, um, with pseudoephedrine, you got to run the license check. So let's uh, fine. Let's get his Here's my license. That's very weird. How he has has the picture of the pharmacy in the background. I didn't realize the pharmacy ran at the tax agency as well. Wow, it goes by real time. He it shows that he picked up some Sudafed on one thirty one, which was yesterday, uh, and it was for a two day supply. So what what happened to the? He should still have enough for. I guess not. Hold up. Oh, the instructions were, are two a day. He got some pseudofilm yesterday. He got enough for a five day supply. Why is he coming back for more? That's a red flag. 
So, let me see. I feel like how many were you taking is a common question that we would ask if a person runs short. What? Anyways. I don't want to use, we don't ever want to accuse a person of doing the other stuff. So let's just hold up on that. Um, let's just ask if they lost it. Or no, let's ask them how many they have left. None. You just got a five day quantity. What, what are you doing with them? I don't know enough to make it work. That's 120 milligrams. Uh, that's a 12 hour Sudafed, sir. Fine, whatever. I just need more. Red flags all over the place. So, in this case, the pharmacist has the right to refuse service. Um, in general, if the system comes up saying that uh, the patients met their, their monthly uh, amount, then uh, we can't sell it to them anyways. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, in the interest of your health, I don't think I should supply you to Sudafedrin. But I need it. I think it'd be in your best interest to give it uh, to me. What you doing? Uh, sir, you cannot become behind the counter. Uh, so, I'm gonna ask you to leave. So, I feel like this is yelling, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him to get out of my pharmacy, cause, listen, you, you don't become, you don't come behind the counter. So, get out of my pharmacy. What? I'm going to wreck you. What are you doing? He's gonna fight me and I'm the bad guy. So I guess you got graded based on how you handle the situation. Uh, so, so I don't know what happened. Like, where did I go wrong? Got some zeros here. So I guess there's no need to ask if they've been sick. So you're telling me in this situation where, okay, so give them what they want and then file an incident report, um, okay, so let's try it again. Let's, let's see if we can walk around a bit, see what we've got some. Injection. <laughs> Contains stuff. What kind of stuff? 2% something. Uh, more injection stuff. All right. Got some Purell, hand sanitizer, uh, Coca-Cola. Hey, Jenny. How are things? Don't tell me what to do. Let me do my job. You do your job. Standing there just doing nothing. food alive is that like a uh, probiotic or something hey teddy ducky hello could i have something to manage a cold please some pseudoephedrine would be awesome right. i've had a really runny nose my throat's a little sore, and I've had a bit of a dry cough, but it's mainly the nose. Alright, so it said you don't have to ask if you take any other medications. Um, have you had these since? Sure, who hasn't? <laughs> this is the last time you had these symptoms. I don't... Uh... From memory, I had some nose spray, but that didn't help. I was given some pseudoephedrine, and that worked right. wonders. Uh, let's just give him the pseudoephedrine and see what happens. I thought so. 
Can you get me that pseudoephedrine now? Fine. Where Here's my license. The picture of the pharmacy in the background. Alright, let's run the license. Still still curious on why he got the pseudofed yesterday and lost it all. Yeah, but wait, does this mean I can't get the pseudoephedrine? Okay. Yeah, that it, I lost that it. That it. I think there was a typing error there. <laughs> Alright, you lost it. Um, let's try and offer an alter alternative since I'm technically not supposed to offer him pseudofed. I don't care. All I want is my meds. Now. Okay. So, he's getting a little hostile. Again. Um. <laughs> keep talking like that and you'll be on the ground fast and you can say pseudo! Wanna go 10 rounds? We can go 10 rounds. I don't care. All I want is my meds. Now. Okay. He's very hostile. And as it said in the beginning, at the, at the end of the summer report, give him what he wants and file a report. So how do I file a report? I don't know yet. I'm um, gonna give him Sudafed, and it's for, let's see here. For five days, I'm guessing BD is, B, is twice a day. And oh, hello. Who are you? Just uh, a robot. Is that all? Now don't come back or I'll call the cops. Hmm. I feel like if, if you say that... Ooh, oh, I'm shaking. Oops. Accidentally clicked it. We did worse than last time! No, it's not okay. It's not okay. You don't give, you don't give Sudafet a second time. This is not okay. No. If a patient is demanding Sudafed from you, you don't give it to him. This is ridiculous. He doesn't deserve it. Well, half the customers that demand stuff don't deserve it either. But we give it to him anyways. On to the next one. What's up, Jason? So we're getting some heartburn on and off. Okay. I don't think this is necessary for a counseling room. But then again, like... This is the counseling room, and this thing is huge. That's what she said! <laughs> like... At our pharmacy, we we just have like these little dividers that say, "Hey, talk to me." <laughs> All right, so he's got some heartburn going on. Um, so let's see what we can do. All right, so we know Jason has a problem with heartburn. We don't gonna we're not gonna ask that. Uh, can you describe the heartburn to me? All right, let's see here. Um, just getting pain in my chest. Okay. Can you describe the pain to me? Alright, let's see here. Okay, let's be more specific. Um, into like burning pain type, uh, tightness in my chest. Hmm. I don't, I don't think you have heartburn, my guy. But, let, let's, let's keep going. It's been a bit sore, but I 
Dang it. Mm hmm. That's the first one. tried anything to help with it. Um, so I'm ready to have this, but these did not help. Okay, so I'm guessing in Rennie, Rennie tablets are a medication for heartburn. And there's any other symptoms. Getting shortness of breath, um, but I'm not as fit as I used to be. Probably overdoing it. Are you sure you're in the garage? It's not something else, sir. Oh, boy. Jason. Come on, man. You sure it's something in the garage? It's the last time you took it. A week or more ago. like vitamins, neurofin plus tablets occasionally. So neurofin is something similar to ibuprofen. It's a medication for pain. Uh, it's a NSAID. Okay, so the neurofin doesn't make the heartburn worse. Um, do you have any medical conditions? Uh, I think I'm pretty healthy. Okay better than that other guy who's like, I'm in perfect health. Allergic to anything. Not allergic to anything, okay. Do you have any discomfort now? Uh, haven't had any heartburn in a few days, so it's something that comes and goes, it seems like. like what's your diet and lifestyle? Eat normal foods, take away most nights work, a uh, few beers. Uh, I don't exercise and I don't smoke. Oh, I do smoke. Oh. Well, that might be a problem. Um, have you seen a doctor about this problem? Um, he probably has not, simply because he comes to the pharmacy. I'm pretty sure if he would have seen a doctor, the doctor would prescribe him something, but let's go ask him. Okay. See? <laughs> A lot, a lot of customers tend to come to the pharmacy when they don't really need, like, to go see a doctor. It's like something they can get over the counter. They, they just look for a doctor or a pharmacist recommendation first before they see a doctor. Because it's like, if I can get it over the counter, why would I need to go see a doctor and spend all this money for no reason? Which I, I can understand. So, yeah, it, it's nice to nice that pharmacists can. Uh, have that ability to to guide guide customers in that way. Okay, there's no chance that he's pregnant or breastfeeding, unless. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Mm -hmm. Sure, you're taking that Viagra. All right, so asthma. I mean, it does smoke. Tightening in the chest, shortness of breath. That all sounds like something an asthmatic person would, would say they have. Uh, pharmacists really can't diagnose patients, um, but they can give, a, give their opinion. So, I'm gonna suggest that he go see as a doctor. Okay. See, patients like that, they're like, very understanding. Those are the best kind of patients, because it's like, they actually are listening to you, they want to take care of themselves. They don't want to just get your opinion and then find out, oh, they don't, they didn't hear the right thing. They wanted to hear, hear that they were right. No. Um, so, see, saying that, I feel like we're done. So. Just like that. Hey, we got a B. Hey, that's good enough. Let's see see if we did anything wrong. Okay, that, uh, that makes sense. We want to describe the pain, like we said. Um, so, let's see. Looks like we did some other things right. We got points for all that. 
Okay, so we got a zero even though it may be an important question to ask. Alright, so we didn't get any negatives, which is good, but we still didn't get a 100%. We got a 75, and apparently a 75% is a B, wherever this game was made. I think it was made in Australia. Um, so, he did good. Let's, let's head on to the next thing. So, first of all, where are my technicians at? Like... Why don't I have any technicians? Why is it just me, the pharmacist? Like, technicians are supposed to do all this stuff. Why am I doing it? All right, um, let's just walk around. Let's see what's in the back room. Get, get out of the way. All right, uh, so, I'm guessing this is all, like, our stock. Let's see here. Just a bunch of stuff. Like, I, mean, I can't even see what's it, what it is. But I'm guessing this is our inventory for legend drugs. And there's the safe. I guess that's the mixing area. Compounding area, if you, if you like to say that. Um, the refrigerator with no meds in it. And it's at four degrees. Uh, I'm assuming that's a. Oh. It's probably in Celsius, the metric system, you know. I want to know right now, if you work in pharmacy, do you have a break room like this? Because I ain't ever seen a break room like this before. With the vending machine, I, we do have a microwave, but we don't have a couch. We don't have a TV. Who, who has time for that? Why do we have a gun? What's all this? Alright. Let's go see what they want. What's up, Jaden? Hi there, my doing? friend. I have a personal problem I'd like some help with, please. Okay. That would be great. Thank you. Else. Where can we. Okay, then. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's meet in this room. Close the door for you. What's on your mind, Jason? How can I help you? You can take me to the safe and Whoa. give me all the good stuff. Oh, up. Uh, all the good stuff? So, in a situation where you're in a robbery and you're held at gunpoint, it's best to just give them what they want and then pretty much report it to the police. Say what's uh, say what's going on. Um, try to keep as much information as you can of the person, so when the police arrive, you can give a description. In this case, I know kung fu. I don't need you. Oh. That didn't work. Let's try it again. You can take me to the safe and give me all the good stuff. Okay, buddy. Did you not hear me? No. I said give Hold me the stuff in the safe now. Up. Hold up. We do not condone that kind of language in this show. So, yeah, I'm going to ask you to I'll be quiet. Is he watch oh, he's watching. You see... If I had some technicians right now, they could probably call the cops for me and uh, get what I need. By the way, where's Jenny at? Why is she not here? Who's running that register? Hey, buddy. Hey. I need you to call the cops while I'm walking to the back row. Okay. Thank you. Little does it know. I have a gun in here. Where's the gun? The. Hey. Hey, buddy. 
You don't want to do this. I think I do. The stuff in the safe. Now. Okay, I'll get it for you. Good. And don't try anything funny. I will be watching you. Let's see if I can grab a cup. Huh. This? Let's see if we can get him. Hey, don't be a hero. Ah! Oh! You got me. Okay. One more time. One more time. Let's just give him what he wants, and then we'll call the cops, okay? I know what you want, Jay. You can take me to the safe and give me all the good stuff. Good. Now go and open the safe. Alright. But don't try anything. Let's go get the safe. Let's give them all the good stuff. Alright. <laughs> it even has a description of all the good stuff. Okay. Well, it wants all the good stuff. So let's just give it to him. Great, I'm out of here. You better report the incident to the police. Oh, hey, how are things going? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm just good, just got robbed. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Um, there's been an incident in the pharmacy. What is the nature of the- WE'VE incident? BEEN ROBBED! There is an officer in your area. They'll be there momentarily. Please avoid discussing the incident with other witnesses until he arrives. Alright, dude. I'm gonna say this. Because... We've had to call the cops multiple times. They never get here that quick. Like, we, we'll call the cops about a situation and they'll get here like 10, 20 minutes later, like after the situation has occurred. Like, I wish police officers could get here that quick to the pharmacy, but I guess it's really not that urgent. Like, it's a customer who yells at us and refuses to leave the drive through If it were uh, a robbery, I'm pretty sure they would be more urgent about it. But hey, it is what it is. My cousin's a cop. Oakley, if you're watching this. Alright. Okay. So, there was a robbery! Is the robber still on the premises? Probably would have if we had more technicians. Okay, so he's not here. He's He went out and went left. I'm assuming he went left because I didn't see him because the wall was in the way! Okay, was anybody hurt? Nobody was hurt, but... I'm still, still curious what happened to Jenny. That's a relief. Is there any camera footage? Um, I did see a camera in the in the back room next to the safe. So yeah, there is a camera. Great. If you don't have cameras I'll grab in the that pharmacy, in a second. You, you got a problem. What was it the robber stole you, from you, you definitely exactly? You get cameras in a pharmacy. There's so, such a big chance for robbery. He didn't, I don't think he took any money. He just wanted all the good stuff. Unless all the good stuff contains money. Um, so, we'll just print off a list of everything, um, whatever all the good stuff is. That would be very handy. Can you tell me what the robber looked like? Um, he definitely had on a red shirt, that I know, I saw. Okay, what else? Uh, I think he had on blue jeans. I, I don't remember what kind of jeans he was wearing. Try to keep as much information as you can of the person, so when the police arrive, you can give a description. So we'll say, we'll say blue jeans. Thank you. What else can you remember? Uh, I can't remember if his jeans were torn, so I don't want to uh, do that. Um, and I don't remember if there's patterns on him. Um, but he did have a handgun. Okay. Is there anything else you can remember? Uh, he did touch the door to the counseling room. As he walked in. That helps a lot actually. We'll have a look at that later. So they could probably Anything check else you can remember? Um he wasn't wearing a hat. Um his hair was very short, yes. That's helpful. 
What about the color of his hair? Uh, I don't know. I want to say it was brown, but it doesn't look like that's an option. So, we'll say, I'm not really sure what the color was. That's understandable. Is there anything else? He was pretty slim. Yeah, I'd say he was slim, dude. That will help us find him. Can you remember anything else that may help? What? Hold up. Are they talking about these blue lines? Like... That's something I would never think of. Like... Is this a common thing in other pharmacies to have something like this to determine the height of a person? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but I've never seen anything like this. I, I honestly think this is a good idea. It's a way of like showing a somewhat of a measurement of how tall he might be. Yeah. Um, but I don't know how tall he was. He looked about a little bit taller than me, so I'd say he was like at the blue blue line height. That will help with the identification. Thanks. Anything else you can remember? Uh, I don't remember anything. <laughs> nah, everything's cool. We got insurance. Don't worry about it. I, think I just called you for no reason. Alright, uh, that's all I can remember. Thank you. You have been more than helpful. I will contact you if we need anything else. Hey! We got an A. Plus. Oh man, 26 out of 27? That's really good. Um, so, let's see if we did anything wrong. Nothing wrong. I, I don't know what we could have done more to get a perfect perfect score. Probably the hair. We probably could have got a, uh, his color hair right. Um, but, just see. Um, we're in blue jeans. He touched the door. Um, short hair, yeah, well, I'm gonna end it here. So that's Pharmacy Simulator. Uh, this game has multiple scenarios. Um, this is currently just a trial run. Um, so this only has about 10 scenarios that you can choose from. Um, but in the full game, you have uh, access to all of them. Um, so if you guys want to play it yourself or check it out, I'll leave it in the descriptions below. Um, if you guys want me to keep playing more of these, um, just drop a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye.